Hi, this is Deborah from Dinglefoot.com, and this week I'm going to show you how to make a card that's enhanced with Glimmer Mist. And if you don't know what it is, it's a spray color, and it has a shimmery substance in it. This is a bluish color, and you can tell it has a silver or a pearly silver color in the bottom. And the color always goes to the bottom. You have to shake them up a little bit before you use them. So I'm going to use that. I have a butterfly stamp. You could also use a sticker. I'm going to put it on my paper and then emboss it with gold. And then I'm going to glimmer mist on top of my stamped image. And for my card, my layer is dry embossed. I already did this one in swirls, but on the inside I'm just going to have a plain piece of white paper. I'm going to glimmer mist that. And then I'm going to take my stamp and stamp that inside and use gold to emboss that also. And then, just for a little extra touch, I might put some gold corners or something on it. So, I think that's about all we need. Let's go ahead and see what we can do with it. First of all, I'm going to stamp my butterfly. You can see it's just hanging over the edge of my acrylic block just a little bit, but that's okay. We'll just press it down good. Make sure we get all the areas on it before we stamp. Get our embossing powder ready. So, i got to ink this up. This is quite a large butterfly. It's actually a Martha Stewart butterfly. I'm not sure if they still even make these or not. I'll have to look into that. But it's such a nice like a monarch butterfly and I like that. We're going to just stamp it anywhere on our paper here. I want to make sure these edges that are hanging off my block get some ink on the paper. This is a very very thin line around this butterfly. But I forgot to tell you in the beginning after I get this embossed and everything I'm going to cut it out with scissors because it's going to become the embellishment on my page. Okay, grab my heat tool here. And this starts melting right away. It takes a few se seconds and then you can see the powder start to melt. I don't know why my cord's kind of tangled up there. See if you haven't ever seen this. I don't think I see it in the light, but as the heat moves it over the powder, it just melts it. Okay. I got it all over now. You can see it has such a nice shiny gold surface on it. So, I'm going to take my scissors and cut it out. When I get to the these really thin antenna up here, I'm just going to kind of go around it. I'm not going to cut it right against the line because it's just too thin. So I'm going to go ahead and get that cut out. Right, I got my butterfly cut out. And I'm going to use my glimmer mist next. So, I got it shaken up. You can see the colors mixed through now. And I'm also going to glimmer mist the inside part for my card also at the same time so they can get dried. And I'm right on my craft sheet so it's going to wipe right up when I'm done doing this. But just hold your spray back and just spray your papers that you want misted. And if you ever get a little bit, you think it's too much, you can just kind of dab it off. But for the butterfly, sometimes... I think I want just a little bit more on there, just to make it a little bit darker. The inside of the card, of course, I don't want it real dark. But I'm going to actually take my heat gun and dry them a little bit. You don't want to hold it too close to the paper. But if you're in a hurry, this is a perfectly fine way to dry it. Okay, I got them all dried. You can see on my butterfly, it's quite a bit darker than the paper inside. I wish you could see how it shimmers. It's really hard to see with the lighting, but it's really shiny, like a pearly shine to it. So I gave this an extra heavy coating of the Glimmer Mist, and this got a really light coat. And it was important for me to get this dry because 
I am going to use my stamp next and stamp inside. And of course when you pour the embossing powder on, if I would have anything wet on here, it would also stick to that. And we don't want that to happen. So I'm going to go ahead and get ink on my stamp here. And I'm going to put this off to the side. Try to get it straight here. Okay, same thing as before. You want to sprinkle your powder on right away and be very generous with it. Okay, I'm going to dump the rest back into my jar. Just kind of flick the extra off. And use my heat tool once again. Okay, now that I got this inside finished, you can see that's embossed now too, I can go ahead and start putting my card together. So this dry embossed part is going to go right on the front. I'm going to use wet glue to hold it down. You can use whatever is your favorite kind of glue. Okay, so it just goes right on the front. and. I'm going to put this part on the inside. You can see that it, it kind of wrinkled. Sometimes if you dry it with the heat gun, it kind of wrinkles the paper a little bit. But with the glue on it, I guess I better turn it the right way around, it's going to be fine. It will stick down. I'll try to get this straight in here. I'm always doing these sideways, so it's kind of hard to always get them lined up just right. Okay, so I'm going to glue that down. That looks fairly good there. Okay, and for the front of my card, I'm going to take my butterfly. If you would be sending this in the mail, you're going to want to just glue this straight down on top of your card. Or if you're not going to be mailing it, take your butterfly, pinch him in half, and put a zot on this side so that he's sticking up like that with the wings up and down. But either way, whatever you're doing with it is up to you because I know sometimes you just need to send your cards in the mail and you can't have a big lumpy part that's going to get ripped up in there. So, but this one I'm just going to pop him up so he's nice with his nice little wings sticking up. And then I'm going to grab my corner stickers and I'm just going to simply put one in each corner of my white paper just to brighten up the card. This is kind of a nice cheerful one to send. I've even used this design for a sympathy card. I thought that was kind of a nice way to use it too. So we're just going to go ahead and just put our corners on there. And I'm going to do the same thing on the inside. I'm also going to put one little gold corner on each edge of the white paper. So I'll go ahead and finish this and then show you what it looks like. Okay, just putting my last corner on the inside here. And we are finished. You can see the pretty corners, it just kind of enhances the inside. And I don't know if you can tell the glimmer mist inside, it just has a really nice sheen to it in there and a sparkle. And here's the outside. So this is kind of a fun card, you can use it for just about any occasion. And you can either make it 3D or make your butterfly flat to mail it. So I hope you enjoyed this card. I hope you get a chance to try the Glimmer Mists. They add such a nice, sophisticated touch to cards. Thanks so much for watching.